on previous term we have taken moment of inertia of ring there are four cases number one is moment of inertia of ring perpendicular to the plane of the ring and passing through the center second point was moment of inertia of ring about diameter third point is about tangent which is in the plane of the ring and the fourth point was moment of inertia of the ring about the tangent which is perpendicular to the plane of the ring in the same way we will today we will find the moment of inertia of disc there will also be four cases as in the ring so today's topic is moment of inertia of disc moment of inertia of disc there are again four cases first one this is a disc is filled an axis passing through this one at the center is rotating about this one second is diameter that is c rotating about this axis third is about tangent the center c and the fourth point is about the tangent which is in the plane of the disc so first of all we will find the moment of inertia of disc about the axis which is passing through center of the disc and perpendicular to the plane means first part is moment of inertia of disc about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to the plane of disc at the disc here is center axis is this one rotating about this one y and y s a disc of mass m and radius r is rotating about y y s axis we have to find the moment of inertia of this disc then consider a ring at an at a distance x from the center of the disc this one is a ring its thickness is dx and distance is or radius of the disc is x it is a ring it is a imaginary ring its uh, distance is x and thickness this thickness is dx first of all we will find the moment of inertia of this ring so we need the radius of the ring is consider a ring of radius r radius x and the thickness dx thickness ds we have to find the mass of this disc mass of the disc will be mass of the ring a ring that's m will be 2 pi x dx into density here the density rho is the density of the disc density of disc on the other way we can easily find that the total mass of the a disc is on other end we can also find the area of the ring of a ring for the ring we want to find the area of this one here is x and it is x plus dx so we want to find the area of the sided part so area will be area of ring will be area of outer ring and area of inner ring means pi 
x plus dx square minus pi x square or we can easily solve it pi x square plus dx square plus 2 x dx minus x square we can neglect dx square this one is cancel dx is small so area will be 2 pi x and dx now on the other end we can also find how we will find the mass in this way here density will be we can easily find from here m will be 2 pi x dx into capital M upon pi r square pi cancel it means m becomes 2m capital M x dx divided by r squared the mass of the imaginary ring it's important mass of the imaginary ring suppose this equation number 1 now the mi of the ring moment inertia of ring that suppose di will be m into x square we can easily find di will be on putting the value of this small m so it becomes 2 m x q dx divided by r square the moment of inertia of the imaginary ring is one we can also suppose the other rings and we will find separately the moment of inertia of each ring for example this is the disc abhi humne ye ring suppose kiya tha this is the ring as the x we can also suppose the second ring is this one the second ring and the third ring and so on we can assume all the rings from the center of this and also we can assume these are the rings these are also the rings we can assume the these are the imaginary rings we will find the moment of inertia of each ring then we will find the total moment of inertia of the disc by adding the moment of inertia of each ring plus this second disc there may be so many rings we can assume the rings from the center from the center to the circumference these are the rings these are the imaginary rings there may be so many rings we want to find that these are imaginary rings now we want to find that total moment of inertia of the disc so to find the mi of disc we will add moment of inertia of each ring this will be the total moment of inertia of the disc or by simple method we can easily find it by integrating this equation number 2 by integrating we can find moment of inertia disc that will be di it is 2m constant upon r q x q and dx here limit will be from 0 to capital r on integrating this one it becomes i 2m upon r square 2m upon r square into x to the power 4 upon 4 it is 0 to r here integration of x to the power 3 dx that will be x to the power 4 upon 4 upon 4 on solving the limit i becomes 2m upon r square into x to the power r to the power 4 upon 4 means the i will be half mr square and the moment of inertia of the disc above the axis which is passing through the center of the disc and perpendicular to the plane but we know that the value of i is also mk square k is radius of gyration so mk square is half mr square it means k square upon r square becomes half. It implies that the value of k is ry root 2. 
is the relation between radius of the disk and the radius of gyration. Now the second case, we will find the moment of inertia of, of inertia of disk about its diameter. It is the disk which is rotating about this axis. It is the diameter. When rotating about this axis, its mass is capital M and radius is R. Consider another axis is passing through the center. That is C. Center O. This one is C and D. It is also diameter. The angle this one, these two, two diameters is 90. And the third axis which is passing through the center of the disk it is O Z. Suppose this one is X axis, then this will be Y axis, then this will be Z axis. We can easily apply the perpendicular axis theorem by perpendicular axis theorem. Perpendicular axis theorem. This disk is placed in the plane of this disk in the plane of X and Y. It is placed in X Y plane. So, Iz will be Ix plus Iy here Ix is equal to Iy that is also Iab equals to Icd both are diameter this is Id only diameter so we can also write Iz is 2 times Id or Id is Iz upon 2 but here because of yz is we have find previously half mr square so id will be 1 by 4 mr square and the moment of inertia of the disk about its diameter here we can also find that because of i is mk square so mk square it will be 1 by 4 mr square. We can also write k square upon r square becomes 1 by 4. It implies that k is equal to r by 2. We have already said that if we change the axis of rotation, then k will change. Here in previous case, the value of k is 1 by root 2, r by root 2. And in this case, k is r by 2 only. Now the third case. Third case is moment of inertia of disk about a tangent. Here will be two cases of tangent. One is perpendicular to the plane of the disk and second is in the plane of the disk which is perpendicular to the plane of disk. is the figure we can draw. It is the side view of disk. It is rotating about this axis. The tangent, the axis of, of rotation. This point is O. It is center. That is O dash. Its radius is R and mass is capital M. Consider another axis which is parallel to this tangent and passing through the center of the disk. These are the parallel axis. Now, by using my parallel axis theorem, IO will be IO dash plus M R square. Here, IO dash is IOZ. IZ that is half mr square. Also, I O will be I m r half mr square is half m r square plus m r square. I O becomes 3 by 2 m r square. And the moment of inertia of the disk about the tangent which is perpendicular to the plane of the disk. 
Now the fourth case, moment of inertia of disk above the tangent which is in the plane of the disk, in the plane of the disk. In this case we will take the overview of the disk, top view, it is the disk, it appears circular at the axis of rotation axis of rotation its mass is m capital m mass is capital m radius is r consider another axis which is parallel to the axis of rotation and it will be the diameter the passing through the center by parallel axis theorem I O will be I O dash plus M R square. Here I O dash is I D moment of inertia of the disk about diameter. Its value is 1 by 4 M R square. So I O will be 1 by 4 M R square plus M R square. That means I O will be 5 by 4 mr square the moment of inertia of the disk about the tangent which is parallel or which is in the plane of the disk these are the four cases four cases of moment of inertia of the disk now one numerical based on the formulas direct formulas find the moment of inertia of disk of radius 2 meter and uh, mass of the disk is 5 kilogram about number 1 the axis passing through center and uh, perpendicular to the plane of disk of disk second case about diameter and third case about tangent tangent which is in the plane of disk now the solution it is given mass of ring mass of disk m is 5 kg radius of disk of disk that's r is 2 meter our first case mi about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to the plane plane of the disk this formula is i is half mr square that's half into 5 into 2 square that's 10 kilogram into meter square the first case now second case about diameter because id is 1 by 4 mr square that's 1 by 4 into 5 into 2 square that becomes 5 kilogram into meter square the second answer now the third about tangent which is in the plane of the disk see the previous case derivation of the formula of formulas in this case the moment of inertia of disk about this one moment of inertia about of the disk about the tangent which is in the plane of the disk 
that formula is 5 by 4 mr square so here i will be 5 by 4 mr square that is 5 by 4 into 5 into 2 square it becomes 25 kilogram into meter square here we can assume that first case is about the axis is passing through the center the distribution of the mass of the disc is equally in all directions for example for example this is the disc here is the center here is the distribution of force this is distribution of mass so mi is 10 kg per meter square but about diameter about diameter in this case the case diameter is this one the moment of inertia of the disc is less in this case about diameter but the more is the moment of inertia in the third case about the tangent tangent is this one about this axis here distribution up to r it means the distribution of the mass will be up to greater distance the moment of inertia will be more in the third case moment of inertia of the disc is more in comparison to other two cases 